Number 16, determine the oxidation states of the elements in the following compounds. And then we have letter B, GdCl3. So I'm just going to rewrite this over here, GdCl3. Okay, so in 16A, I went over the full rundown of oxidation states, what they mean, why they're here. Uh, so if you want to get the full rundown, you could always check out 16A. Uh, the, the link, um, actually, the, the playlist will be at the end of this video. So just look for the playlist at the end of the video and just click the button and you'll be on the playlist 16A. But for now, let's just, I'm just going to say that we should have this trend down. Okay, so just match the groups with the trend. Okay, the numbers. And what we're going to do is we're always going to do our work first and then check it with what the oxidation state trend is. If it checks out, we're good. If it doesn't check out, something is a little bit uh, wrong. So we just have to like tweak it a little bit. All right. So we've made compounds before, right? Usually we have the charges in the top so that we can crisscross them to get our compound. But now we're going to be doing the opposite. All we have to do is take the numbers that we have on the bottom, right? And crisscross them back up. So let's see. There was only one GD, right? So I'm just going to put a one here, right? And then there was three chlorines. So let's crisscross it. So this one really belonged to CL, right? And CL is in the back, remember. Uh, notation is always positive first then negative. So this would tell me that chlorine was a negative one charge. And then this three crisscrossed up to tell me that GD was a plus three. Okay. So we have this idea here. We have GD, which was a plus three. And then we had CL, which was a negative one. Now I'm going to check my trends that I know. GD plus right? Where is GD on the periodic table? GD is all the way over here. Ooh. And what, what is even this name? Gad... <laughs> Gadolium? I don't know, guys. I just don't know. These are your F block. And yeah. But just know that GD is all the way down there, right? So... There's not really a trend for that one, mainly because GD can exist as multiple different states. But let's see, Cl minus one. Well, chlorine is over here, right? Oh, it is a minus one. My trend checks out. So if this one checks out, that means that all the other ones are correct as well. If you do see one that you follow on the trend, the other one is correct as well. So this would be your answer. Now you could write it as this, but maybe what I would do is I would say GD, the oxidation state would equal a plus three. And for chlorine, the oxidation state is a minus one. So in context, just know that, uh, whatever this element is, gal <laughs> galdolinium was a plus three. That means that it lost three electrons. Each GD lost three electrons and each chlorine was a minus one. That means that it gained one electron. Each one of them, there was three chlorines. Each one of them gained one electron. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. What do you think guys? What do you think of my awful butchering of, uh, this element's name? <laughs> Um, let me know in the comments if this helped you and if it did hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and let's just keep doing more problems. Okay. I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye.